so retail sales were less than expected and yeah. look like autos were a key part. Yeah, and, and that's really curious because the unit sales reported by the automakers were actually really strong in January. So and that's what goes into the GDP calculation. So this number it shouldn't uh, be as worrisome for what first quarter GDP is doing. I gotta say, some of the numbers were a little curious here because it wasn't just the autos falling. Internet sales fell, um, and drugstores fell, and people think that that might be because of warm weather, people are getting less sick. Um, Any theories as to the discrepancies? Uh, well, you know, the unit sales are actually actual cars, and this is uh, what people spent on them. And so there may have been some kind of discounting going on, or maybe leasing or something, which would, would change the dollar value of buying a car. So the, head, the headline retail sales figure was a little bit less than what economists were expecting, but you strip out autos, as you say, you know, the, 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 the core number was actually ahead of expectations, right? Right, and then, but the drag on that is that December was revised down from being flat to being down uh, 0.2. And it's, that's kind of, you know, it, it shows that there was less momentum at the end of 2011 than people thought, and, and especially because we, then we found out that December uh, business inventories didn't rise as much as people expected them to be. So that 2.8% of fourth quarter GDP, it's probably 2.6. That's what it's looking like right now. So amid all the data that we've been getting, where how how should investors interpret this and, and place this with everything else that we've been hearing? Yeah, you know, I think it, it uh, shows we've got an economy that this year is probably going to grow around 2.5%. And because that's below our potential, you're going to get these kind of wacky data from month to month. And uh, you shouldn't, it's, it's not that you shouldn't no. put much stock into it, no. but um, you should always look beneath the surface. Than, rather than just look at the top line. And you number. need to see more of these over time. Yeah. You know, to, to get any, start changing that, that thesis that we're in a slow growth environment where we're going to get some readings of strong, that are strong and some that are not as strong. Right. I mean, because we also got the weekly retail sales from Redbook today, and actually they showed that February bounced oh, back up okay. uh, thanks to Valentine's Day yeah. shopping. <laughs> um, and. Uh, so, yeah, again, you're right. You know, you, you, I think a lot of people should start looking at maybe moving averages instead of just this month-to-month -month volatility. And the trend for the economy just in general, as you were saying, George, is it, it, we're moving in the right direction at this point, oh, whether it be yeah. the housing market, the labor market, uh, you know, even retail sales, right? I mean, we're going in the right direction, and so one blip here or there is not really a huge cause for concern. Right, right, and it comes down to, you know, we're almost five years since the recession started and all that, the, the painful process that we had to do with deleveraging and getting rid of excess and all that, you know, we've been through it for five years. So eventually, yeah, you, you remove those drags and yeah, the recovery can take hold. But again, you know, it's as you guys were discussing earlier, you know, the Eurozone becomes, there is still this huge uncertainty right. weighing on the right. economy. You know, luckily we got Congress uh, agreeing <laughs> yes. to extend the Social Security tax cut, so that it will help Helped. consumers going forward, because I can't imagine what sentiment would do if they got into another you know, kindergarten oh, fight. God. It's, What's it's, the next key in economic indicator this week that people should oh be watching God, for? We, we have, we lot, actually right? have a lot. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we have Empire State and industrial production tomorrow to tell us what the factories are doing. And we have producer prices and consumer spending, which is going to tell us how inflation is doing, which shouldn't really be much at all. <laughs> <laughs>